Hi everyone, it's me, Violet Chachki, back yet again for another thrilling and exciting and educational episode of my series, Digital Drag. Today, I wanna to do something that has been highly requested, a look that I love and have done quite a lot. It is my Arte inspired Art Deco performance makeup. It's something completely different from what I traditionally do and kind of do every day. I would do this Erte inspired burlesque number um, a couple years ago. I toured it with Dita Von Teis, who is one of my all time favorite idols. Should I have her on the channel? Would you guys like to have Dita on the channel? Maybe I can do her makeup or like interview her or something. Let me know in the comments if I should do that. I think she would be really fierce on my channel and she's one of my biggest inspirations. So it'd be fun to definitely have her on and she's a good friend now. So we'll see what we can do. But this is a really fun makeup. It's definitely inspired by Pat McGrath. It's definitely inspired by her work at, Gal uh, at Dior with Galliano, Erte, 20s, 30s, kind of um, a little bit of Jean Harlow thrown in there. Definitely heavy, heavy Arte inspiration, flapper, that whole kind of film noir beauty. Um, but it's kind of like stylized and dragged out and like hyper, hyper, hyper drag. This is definitely like drawing of a woman situation. Fantasy, fantasy makeup. So let's get right into it, shall we? I'm gonna go ahead and block my brows off camera. All right, so now I've got my eyebrows drying with my glue. I'm just gonna throw on some beard cover, uh, some color corrector, I mean. And I'm gonna blend, blend, blend. And I already put my primer on, by the way. I'm using MAC Full Coverage Cream Foundation, and I'm just gonna fucking shellac my entire visage. And I've done this makeup a lot because um, I was doing it uh, on tour. I've done it as a burlesque performance. It's a really good number. I haven't done it in a really long time. The costume needs a bit of an upgrade, but I really love Erte. I'm gonna be referencing Erte a lot in my new show called A Lot More Me, which debuts very soon in Europe. But I'm referencing Erte a lot in the costumes and it's just such a good reference. It's so good. If you don't know who Erte is, you definitely need to look up his work. He was an illustrator. He also designed a couple theater spaces. He designed costumes. Really, really such a huge body of inspiration. Yeah, so I've done this makeup look a lot and there's different little variations that I would do. And I think what I'm gonna do today is more of like less stage and more like the editorial fashion version. So I'm gonna try to go for, we'll see what happens. But I'm gonna try a couple new little techniques. But I want my face to be really round. Like I feel like Flapper's face is really round and I have a really hard shaped face. So I'm gonna try to just really round out some of my features. And I, of course, am using my go-to Krylon TV white, nice and highlighted. All right, I'm gonna go in now with my trusty Anastasia contour stick in mink. And I'm just gonna do this a little sparingly. Again, I'm gonna do, I think a little bit down there. That's something new. So we'll see if that does anything. Okay, I think it's time to set it with some translucent powder. So I'm gonna be using Derma Blend and just colorless powder. I like to get under my eyes because I feel like that's where I get the most foundation like settling into any creases or fine lines. I love it. I love powdering because then everything turns matte and you can't see any texture. So I'm gonna go over my eyebrows now with another coat of glue just to make sure they are super flat. So now that I'm waiting for the eyebrows to dry, I am gonna go in with powder highlight and powder contour. This is the Sculpt Fix Sculpt and Shape 
contour palette. And I'm just going to, I'm gonna try to, I wanna like bring it down a little bit. So it's more of a little curve. I feel like that's a bit more 20s, 30s. I wonder if any of you guys have seen my Art Deco. I do Art Deco by Lana Del Rey and I'm a huge Lana fan. My two like go-to girls are Lana and Kylie. Uh, and when I say Kylie, I mean Minogue. Um, so I do a lot of Kylie and I do a lot of Lana. And uh, I do Lana's song Art Deco as an Erte painting come to life. And that's kind of what this makeup is. And if you want to see me live in person and you live in Europe, you can buy tickets to my solo show, A Lot More Me, now on violettragedy.com. So I'm going to go in with some super white now and just go down the, the bridge of my nose to really make it pop. So I think it's time for the wig cap. There you go. It gives me like a nice lift. I mean, honestly, the tape just makes me look so much better. Okay, I'm gonna cover my brows now. Okay, again, we wanna get a really round shape with everything. So I am just kind of creating a circle of highlight. And then we're gonna blend that out. I'm go back over my brows just to get them really nice and covered. And then we're gonna hit it with a translucent. Okay, now comes the fun part. We get into the actual mug of it all. So I think what I'm gonna do to start is I'm going to actually take, I'm gonna take some gray. I wanna really dip into this new palette that Pat McGrath gave me. It looks like that. So I wanna dip into this. I love this blue. I love this like shimmery pink. I love this white. I wanna use these like neutral tones, like taupes and stuff, and start kind of carving out a new eye shape. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I've got that. I'm gonna start blending that out. I'm just gonna go in with some ash brown from the Anastasia brow palette. And again, just try to Get that nice hollowed out eye shape, hollowed out eye socket. So going back to that Pat McGrath palette, I'm gonna take a crease. I'm gonna start to kind of get that downward slope. So connecting that to there. This is similar to the Valentine's Day digital drag that I did when I was trying to be like a little cherub cupid situation. The costume that I wear for this number has lots of like greens and purples. So I'm really just using these taupes and browns as like contours for like this new eye socket I'm creating. So for the brows, I wanna start with something light because the shape, I don't really do these brows that much. And sometimes when I do do these brows, it looks really good and then sometimes it looks really bad. So the shape of the brow is super important. You want it to be really thin and arched and uh, symmetrical. I actually use this lip pencil from my, or this pencil, it's that, the artist colored pencil from Makeup Forever. So I love them because you can use them for anything. Um, but I usually use this on my lips, but I'm using it on my brows today. All right, so now I've kind of drawn some wonky beginnings of what the brows are. I like to go in now, this is something new that I've been doing. And they have, Anastasia has this really amazing, like really fine angle brush. And I just kind of go in and I think it's better to use like the, the crayon as like just kind of getting the product on your face and then moving it around with this, I think is much more, creates like a much better brow. Okay, so they're totally wonky, but I'm gonna fix it with some highlight underneath. I'm basically just using the brown as a guideline because the brows are gonna be black. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some translucent powder and I'm going to highlight, I'm just gonna cover the cream highlight I just put on. And now I'm gonna go in with some liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna do my brows and kind of go over the brown little shape that I had mapped out. 
I am going to start putting on some shadow. I love this purple. It's really pretty. And you can see it like reflects purple and blue. I'm gonna add a bit more color. I'm gonna go. Um, I still use this fucking electric palette even though it is so smashed. Um, but I love the colors and they still work. So I love this like purpley, purpley fuchsia. I'm just gonna pop that in here. I'm gonna go in now with some pink from the same electric palette and just go on top and really blend it up into the brow line. All right, I'm gonna cut my crease now and just clean up the line. Okay, so I've got my crease sort of figured out. I've used a bunch of blues and pinks and purple eyeshadows. Um, it's got that sort of like, you know, goes up and then curves and goes down. Deco sort of feeling. Uh, right now I've taken Starlit Powder by Makeup Forever and a little bit of Myron, Mayron, Mayron Mixing Medium. And I'm just gonna paint my lids. Okay, so I've just done my lids in this gorgeous uh, Makeup Forever Iridescent Green Yellow sort of liquid eyeshadow I created. I'm gonna take a break from the eyes because I'm just getting bored. And I'm gonna go on to the blush, which is so much fun to do because I get to bring it like all the way up on my face. So I've got this like amazing, whatever's left of this like UV Krylon blush, whatever it is, it's just like their UV stuff. And I'm gonna just put that really high. And then I'm gonna go in that new Pat palette. And I love this shimmery white with blue. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use some of this under my brow just to give it a little bit of shimmer. I think I am going to put some glitter. So I have this like Urban Decay Heavy Metal Heavy Metal Glitter Gel and I'm gonna put it on my eye. It's like really big flecks of glitter. You can see that. I'm gonna use some liquid and go over my cut crease and just make it a little bit more defined. All right, so now I'm just gonna use some, a little bit of black eyeshadow and smoke out this black liquid eyeliner crease I just created. And then I'm gonna move on to the bottom of the eyes. Like so. Okay, I think I'm gonna try something a little bit different with the bottom. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna do my waterline. I want like a nice, big, thick waterline. I want like big, big doe eyes. So now I'm just putting on some, a different color of Makeup Forever Star Lit Diamond Powder, this color. This one has like more pinks, purples. Just putting it over the bottom kind of waterline that I'm gonna go for. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and do some bottom liner. Just tie it all together, or try to. So now I'm going in with shadows under the liner. Just smoking it all out. Blending it in with some pink. I feel like with this kind of look, it's like the more, the better it looks. So I'm actually just taking some pat eyeshadow, this like pinky her. Just like a iridescent pinky. I'm just putting her with my finger. Gives a nice like orangey pinky highlight. It's cool. I really highlight those apples, honey. And I'm even gonna do a little squirt. I said, do y'all like it? Girl, I'm over here creating new techniques, bitch, that have never been seen before on YouTube, ever! Y'all could never! So, we're gonna move on to the lips, and then we're gonna do lashes, and then we are good to get slung up and give you guys the full fantasy. Are you excited for that? 
That's what I thought. I am just outlining my lips now in this gorgeous pencil. Okay, so there's my lip outline. It's nice and pouty. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in. I've got, I wanna do a really dark lip. I still want it to be fun. So I've got this like burgundy MAC retro matte liquid lip color in high drama. My life is a drama. A high drama with a beginning, a middle, and no end. Okay, so it's a little splotchy, this lip color. Not like really killing it. It's just a two coat situation. Oh, you know what I'm doing that's really risky and like really cool also is that I am not using any eyeliner. I'm just putting the lash right on my lash line like a bad bitch. So I'm gonna top off that wine liquid lip with a little bit of Comfort Matte Love Drunk by Urban Decay. One of my favorite go-to brands. And then, I'm gonna put my other eyelash on. All right, I think we are pretty much done. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna top my lips off with this Bling Thing Liquid Lip Color by MAC. It almost looks like glitter liquid eyeshadow. And that is it, it's just some mascara. Oh, I almost forgot. My little beauty mark. Uh, that is it. This is the mug, this is the face, this is the gorgeousness. And I'm gonna go put on my costume and do a little razzle dazzle. <laughs> That is it, my Arte Art Deco 1930s mug. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share. And I will be coming to a city near you if you live in Europe in September. So make sure to get your tickets now at violettrotsky.com. I'll see you there. Mwah.